Hello everyone. This is a tape room and we have two sides of this tape room. We have the imperial rule on this side, inches, and we have the metric rule on the other side. The inch is based on fractions of eight. So every inch is eight parts. So this is eight parts, another eight parts, another eight parts. So by the time you move from here, you're counting eight, 16, 24, 32. But on the reverse side, in the metric rule, you have parts of 10. So you have 10, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 millimeters. So each 10 parts, is a centimeter. Using inches, this is how we count. We count over eight. So if you have one part, you have one eight. If you have two parts, you have two eight. If you have three parts, you have three eight. Four parts for eight. 5, 8, 6, 8, 7, 8, and a whole number. Now, if you have one inch and some parts, you're going to count from the first part. 1, 1, 8. 1, 2, 8. 1, 3, 8. 1, 4, 8. 1, 5, 8. 1, 6, 8. 1, 7, 8. Then you get to 2. Now, when you get to 2 and you have parts, assuming you have three parts after 2, you have 2, 3, 8. If you have five parts after 2, you have 258. Now you don't start counting from here again. This is 2. This is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, on the other side, when you are counting centimeters and you have something over the centimeter, you have a decimal point. So you have 10.5. 10.6, 10.7, 10.8, 10 10.9, then you have a whole number. Now, if you're using inches and you want to convert to decimal, you'll calculate each one eight as 0 0.125. So now, if you have one and one eight, you say 1.125. So the one will replace the zero. So you will not have zero. 0.125. You have 1.125. So if you have 1 to 8, you're going to convert it to 1.25. If you have 3 8, you're going to have 1.375. If you have 1 and a half or 1 for 8, you're going to have 0 0.5. 0 0.625. 0 0.75, 0 0.875. So each 18 is 0 0.125. So it's additions of 0 0.125. So if you add this together, you're going to have 25. And if you add another 18 to this, you're going to have 0 0.375. If you add another one eight here, you're going to have 0 0.5. Another way to use the tape rule is to convert it into a simple computer that can divide for you. For instance, if you want to divide seven into two parts, you simply fold and you have the half division. If you want to add seven, you simply fold and you have 14. So it works for small numbers. If you want to divide 11, you just fold at 11 and this is your half mark. Thank you.